Yo, what is going on guys? It is Cosmo back here with another video. And today's video we're going to be I'm going to be showing you my warm-up routine and like my settings cuz I know a lot of people ask for my visual settings a lot, like everyday type stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys you know my settings. So, for display, I have play at play on 1920 by 1080 240 fps. And I think a lot of you guys been asking because you guys don't know what colorblind I use. I use Trident Oak 10 at 150 brightness. So here's how it would look like normally. Oh, yeah, this doesn't matter. This is how like probably your games look. We'll load up in a game right now. All right, guys, this is how most of your guys' game looks. It's kind of dark. The colors are not that good. You know, they're all dull and stuff. Like you can't really see anything that from afar. So this is regular settings and here's how it looks when I switch to, you know, my colorblind Trident Nope 10 with 150 brightness. All right, as you guys can see, the the difference is night and day. It's a lot more brighter. I feel like you can see a lot more. The trees are more, more greener. The colors are more deeper. And I feel, you know, it's way better like this. Like if you want to see someone from far, they'll stand out a lot more better. So yeah. And as you can see right here, it's just Trident Nope 10 with 150 brightness. All right, guys. So basically, my for my graphics quality, I am on performance mode and 100% resolution, view distance low, textures low, and I use low meshes. V-Sync off, you know, show FPS, and obviously on performance mode. But that's really it. All oh, my mouse sense is... X and Y is 8.5 targeting sensitivity and scope sensitivity is 35 also. And I use double movement, so I do lock in input. I use wooding double movement at 100%. So yeah, this sound, uh, I have sound quality low. Uh, I do not recommend using 3D headphones because it's really loud. And actually, where is it? But... I did want to try visual sound effects right here and I heard it's like a lot more like way better and I'm gonna start using this because I, I see a lot of pros use it so I recommend you guys use it okay guys so the first warm-up routine that or like the first step that I do to when I hop on to warm up I just basically free build you know build whatever I want something like that I'll do an in-game like box box someone piece someone you know, something that you'll like is actually realistic or you could crank, you know, just to crank 90s just to get them ready for, you know, if you're playing a tournament or, you know, you just got on and you want to play to your best ability. But yeah, guys, I just recommend building, you know, fruit building for like at least 20 minutes. I would say more if you're playing on like if you're playing a tournament, a cash cup or something. But yeah, this is first step. I'm using Raider 4 6 is 4 is map, but you can honestly just do it in any world. Uh, I like to do it on here because it's you could like 1v1 people or and it's like a lot less input delay, so I could like actually crank with no delay. But I feel like you should do both. You should crank in a high input delay map so you could get more used to in game and a low input ma map so you could get your mechanics on point. But it's really up to you. You know which everyone you like and yeah i'm pretty sure everyone warms up with this one like warms up cranking first so yeah it shouldn't be that big of a deal but you know just get your fingers warm you know just get unwashed and yeah guys i'll show you guys the next my next warm-up routine that i like to practice and yeah i'll see you guys then all right guys for the next my next warm-up routine i usually do a raiders impossible edit practice maps uh, by the way, all codes will be in the description if you guys need them. If you guys want to try them out for yourself, yeah, code is right here. And we just go into it. Uh, start game. And this map is actually works on a lot of your edits. Uh, a lot of double edits if you're a beginner keyboard player. A lot of triple edits, even quad edits. And you just go. You could use this if like this is to speed up. So like if you're fast, you could use this, but you know, most of you guys, I would say are beginners. 
So I recommend not going on that because it will make like you quicker and it'll make it more difficult. So I recommend just going normally, you know, practice on some triple edits. Honestly, any any ro like rotation you do, I usually do triple edits, uh, these stair edits, these ramp edits, and some of these cone edits. You just could teleport like anywhere in this map. So if you want to go over there, you come up here and you could edit down up. This map's actually really good. So practice your edits. Yeah, I'm so freaking on this guy. He's like, I'm not that good. You could like go as fast as you want, honestly. And then once you get used to like your routine, you could practice on you, like you could go to anyone you want. You can have your own routine down. You don't have to follow like all of you don't have to do every single one because that'll take too long. You just do the ones that you think help will help you the most and the ones that you like. All right, guys, for the third map, we are practicing our aim. So we're in Scavix aim trainer. I'm pretty sure this is the newest one. Yeah, this is the newest one. And I like, I recommend to do more tracking, more SMG tracking since this is a SMG season. You know, there's a lot. SMG are, are actually really OP. So I recommend practicing that, your AR beams and shotgun aim. So these are usually the ones I like to do. I like to do, you could, there's peace control too, but I got a map for that. Boxing orbs, you know, you just shoot them. Practice your shotgun aim. This one's really helpful. And then just to go back to the lobby, just emo and then put back to up. I like, I recommend doing boxing fight orbs. Uh, bounce, horizontal track, tracking, vertical tracking, and orb frenzy. And bounce mini. Just to practice the SMG aim. Usually when I'm playing a tournament, I like to do this because SMGs are like, like just too good this season. And like just to hit every shot, it's actually really beneficial. Yeah, these all of these are timed for like, you could put do a time or free. Time. I usually like to do a time because I like to go to other ones and I just stay on one for too long. But you could put time or free play, you know, if you want. And then you just go back to him when you emote. And then target frenzy, you know, you just you could click on how far you want it. I usually click the farthest and then, you know, just try to hit it. You know, try to be as accurate as you could. And yeah, I put a time, you could do free play if you want also. And then the third one that I like to do is horizontal shine. I think this one's my favorite. You could put any. I usually go through all of them and I just time travel. You just follow. I'm pretty sure if you hit it at a, like more times, it dies. And you should be able to kill it, but I'm, my aim's pretty trash, so. You should be able to kill it before it goes inside there. This one's actually really good for your AR tracking, like in end games. When you're trying to get those, you know, those tags for surge and stuff. And then last mat, last course I like to do is, where is it? It's, oh, this one. It's just like working on your mouse grip, your mouse, you know, movement. You can put it to like one health or a hundred. I like to no scope it, ADS it. You can do whatever you want, if, like as long as it helps you. And yeah, guys, Zach, you know, that's all you could, you could try out all of them and just see like which ones you like and create a pattern for yourself.
and i'll show you guys the next and final map guys all right guys the last inf the last map is a uh, peace control map it's radiator 464 he actually makes really good maps like i'm not even joking like he probably the best maps all right so right here there's basic control basic peace control more complex and peace control tunnels so like when you're telling in tunneling for end game and stuff you know you could practice i actually like don't even do this uh yeah i don't even know how this goes but yeah you could do this you could do different piece control ones you could go into i don't even know what this one is i don't, i usually just do like the basic ones cuz i don't know i'm i'm a bad player not going to lie but You know, you can practice with the Sugans you want. And, you know, you can see all the other levels and see which ones you like. See which ones are more realistic in game. And, you know, you, you could do your own routine. Usually I spend like 20 to... 20 to 30 minutes, you know, if I'm actually playing a tournament, which I don't do very often, but yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do more. So these maps are actually really helping, you know, to get better at that. Sometimes you're like shotgun doesn't really shoot. So this map's kind of, an, what the, this map's kind of annoying with that. And like there's a lot of input delay because the map's pretty big but those are like only the negatives i would say this is a really good map to practice on all right guys so that was my warm-up routine you know nothing really special it's pretty basic you know pretty basic aim training peace control uh editing and yeah that's yeah basically it uh i usually also you know queue up in a 1v1 where is the map in a like 1v1 like realistic or 1v1 pg or like tilted zone wars or something that like you'll fight actual players so you could get you know a custom when you're playing like in the real games in the arena and stuff and yeah guys i just do that and then i do you know i get play the tournament play arena or whatever and i'm, I'm ready to go so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and comment down below uh what other videos you guys want to see and I'll see you guys later. Peace.